Boy, it's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can't handle this on and on I can't know I just gotta know where you are If I want to remain sane But you're close to every text and call Oh no You could be running off with somebody else Ooh, boy, I ask myself And I thought Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now you guys saw a little bit of my morning, a little bit of my self-care going on. I am in the middle of doing my skincare. Kitty is like, I rubbed her belly. She loves getting her belly rubbed and now she does not leave me alone. I am very careful about when I choose to rub her belly because she gets like this. I don't know if you guys have noticed how much my skin has actually been improving within the last month and that is because I've been using some new skincare that is customized specifically for me. This is by Special Me. This is the face wash. I already washed my face this morning with this and I've been using this day, morning and night. And I also have the creams which let me grab them. My little skincare cabinet here. Daytime cream. I have a nighttime cream. So I still do everything else is normal, like my serums, eye cream, and stuff. And then I've been using my special me um creams and the face wash which the face wash has just been heavenly I mentioned to you guys before i struggle to find a face wash that does not make my skin feel tight and dry i have dry skin so this has been absolutely perfect and i really really have been enjoying this then the nighttime cream is a little bit thicker while the daytime cream is a little bit lighter but still very moisturizing for me specifically because i have dry skin so obviously you go onto the special me website you do the little quiz on the website you'll find this little qr code and scan it with your phone so that it pops up your little special me quiz next you will take a little selfie make sure you are in a well -lit area like in front of a window this is a free online skin assessment that is ai powered the quiz will ask you all kinds of questions about your lifestyle your skincare's behavior and environment in this little interactive quiz and then it analyzes your quiz and your photo with ai powered technology if you do not want to do the photo at the beginning you can also just take an interactive quiz you will then get a personalized skincare report which provides you a complicated analysis result of your skin issues lifestyle factors that can be affecting your skin and skincare advice on ways to improve your skin and when you receive your products, they will all have this cute little QR code so that you can always get your recipe ordered. And this is $60 a set. I'm going to go ahead and apply my daytime cream. Thank you so much to Special Me for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've this for about two and a half weeks now and it has just been godsend. I am going to overlay clips of what my skin looked like when I first started using them. It was struggling. I had so much acne, I had so much like just different like texture on my face, little bumps, which I no longer have. This is just kind of what's left over now. It, my skin has smoothed immensely since then and feels so much more hydrated even on a day-to-day -day basis. Rewinding back in time to when I first got my special me products, as you can probably tell my skin was very stressed. I did recently move to another state so my skin has had trouble adapting and I like that special me provides skincare that can adapt to all of the changes in my life and that they were able to specialize skincare for me personally and my current lifestyle i'm just gonna set you guys right there and just show you my daytime use they look literally the same but you just have to read it but yeah it looks like this you take whatever has fallen onto the lid this is so hydrating and nice and it makes my makeup go on so much better as well just because my skin you know it has a nice smooth beautiful hydrated canvas and this is literally the last of the skincare i do and as you guys read the title of today's video i am trying to be a very pilates princess today taking my very first pilates class i am not a pilates princess let me just clarify that i usually weight train 
Um, that's what I do for my workouts. I have been very inconsistent this year with our move. I'm gonna be honest, it has not been easy adjusting to moving to a new area and everything's brand new, you know, it's a whole other state. So definitely I've had my ups and downs finding gyms and you know in my fitness routine i have been very inconsistent i've still worked out here and there but it's just inconsistent but one thing i can say for sure has changed drastically it are my eating habits everything here is so fresh there's so many healthy food options around me there's a farmer's market literally walking distance it is incredible to be eating healthier so i think that's what has helped me this well i know whenever i first got to la i will insert a clip here I was very swollen. Um, I was on medication for my hormones and um, it was definitely making me gain weight and ever since I moved I decided to stop the medication and go um, go more towards the diet route like eating a good diet for my hormones and that has seemed to help tremendously but now I really want to start working out to help my body to help my hormones as well working out does help your hormones and I have decided to try this new thing called cycle syncing and so I want to try Pilates um, just because I've heard great things about it. Obviously it's trending, so uh, what really got me curious about Pilates was watching Love is Blind, Raven. So, um, yeah, she got me curious about what Pilates is, and then I saw the really cute pink Pilates, like, aesthetic. Of course, you guys know I'm all about that, and so I just want to have a full day of just being a Pilates princess. Am I going to keep doing this? I don't know. I, this is my first time I'm going to try out a Pilates class today, and... Whether I continue to do it is going to depend very much so on whether I like it or not. I will let you guys know what I think. I know Pilates is not easy. So I am in for a wild ride today. I noticed I don't have some of the things I need to do Pilates. Like I need some grippy socks or something like that. So I'm going to go do, put on a little bit of makeup, eat my breakfast. I'm going to go walk to Aloe. Aloe is walking distance from me, which is like a yoga shop i have aloe i have lululemon and aritzia all walking distance so i'm going to go check them out if i can get me some grippy socks and some pilates princess items which i know even if i don't keep doing pilates i will still wear pilates princess-esque things because i already do wear it for the gym like this gym outfit that i'm wearing right now it's very pilates princess pink is very pilates princess yeah, i'm gonna say pilates princess a lot in this vlog so take a shot every time i say it go and get some Food in. Oh, also, a very Pilates princess thing to do is to make your own matcha. So I'm going to stop by Whole Foods and hopefully get a pack of matcha or something so that I can make my own matcha at home. And we're going to try it out because I love me some good matcha and I spend way too much money at Starbucks. Oh, I keep hitting this lid that I took off this so I can set the camera up. But yeah, I'm going to try to make my own Pilates princess matcha today. My Pilates class is at 6 p.m. It is currently 2.30 and my friend just called me so i'm gonna call her back but i'd show you guys the little slides i'm wearing right now look at how cute these are these are from timu very pilates princess it looks like it's like scrunched ribbon but it's actually just foam my friend's picking me up instead i usually like to take a walk like i mentioned but um she wants me to come with her actually to the same shopping center i was already going to so that worked out perfectly somehow it's like the stars aligned or something a little bit of quick makeup because she's already on her way what kind of pilates princess would i be without lip oil lip oil my lips feel so dry right now that's just why i'm doing this first usually i would do this last i'm going to be using my brush set which is still available if you guys are interested i will link it down below once it's gone it won't be coming back though so if you really want it i would go and get it between i'm gonna spray some rose water i feel like i should have done my blush first because that's what i've been doing lately but i totally forgot I'm using rare beauty when i don't want like too much this is more like a bronzer rather than a contour we'll blend it with the same brush dot of the blush because this is very pigmented 
When I said pigmented, I meant it's pigmented, girl. I'm not rushing anymore because she said she hasn't taken off yet. So I'm like, okay, take her about 20 minutes to get here. But I do want to make a protein shake because I definitely need to get my protein in. So a workout class and either that or I'll eat my salmon. Manny and I meal prep. If you guys are curious about what I eat in a day. Um, mainly, it's the same thing almost every day. I will switch up like things like my snacks so i will basically have um salmon with spinach i love spinach with this cilantro lime dressing so bomb and then i will have chicken with rice and spinach then i will have a protein shake a strawberry banana protein shake that's my favorite sometimes i will do chocolate peanut butter i will have a protein shake oatmeal and eggs my diet has been very 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 simple because um when i'm home we cook and that's just what is in our meal prep sometimes we will eat out because we are in la as you guys know i know that sounds very boring or maybe you might not want because literally I eat the same thing almost every day But if you guys want me to do like how we do our meal preps Let me know because I feel like the reason why I'm able to eat that every day Is because it is so good Like the way that we've learned to season our food and everything It's just so so good But I mean I don't follow it to a T So it's like it's fine if I eat something different sometimes But for the most part that is what I eat So I feel like my body has been thanking me because I told you guys my hormone thing at the beginning I've done a lot of lifestyle changes you guys can see my skin now is like hardly any texture on it which is very impressive it really is all in the way that you eat and the skin stuff that you use on your skin um, I was using too much skincare that had fragrance in it and I have now stopped using skincare with fragrance in it clearly light fragrance is okay like my skin doesn't freak out as bad I've gotten and, you know, when I first started YouTube or when I was younger, which I sound like I'm so old, I'm not that old, but you know, when I was in my early 20s, I definitely could get away with using skincare because I didn't have very sensitive skin and my skin never really broke out. I always had like normal skin that leaned a little dry, but it was for the most part very normal. And as I've gotten older, my hormones have shifted a little bit because I haven't had kids yet. So basically what they explained to me at the gyno is like, you know, you're in your childbearing years, so you're not having children so it's creating like cysts i have little cysts in my ovaries Hopefully i'm not like oversharing but <laughs> that's basically what's going on that's why my hormones are just different i'm getting a lot of like estrogen spikes basically they call it estrogen dominance the only thing that has really really helped is changing my lifestyle I'm conscious about things like gluten and dairy and um in taking my greens and getting enough fiber in and things like that. So I'm using a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. This is in Hello Talk 2 Medium. You guys know I love MAC Cork, but sometimes when I do simpler makeup, I don't want such a harsh lip liner. I'm feeling like using this YSL. It's very baby pink. So here is my little Pilates princess outfit right here. So I basically am wearing everything from Shein and um, yeah, I folded over the leggings. I like doing this lately. I feel like it flatters my body more. I have a very short torso, so sometimes high-waisted things go too high and it just does not look cute. Um, short torso girls usually look good in lower-waisted things. This is my outfit and everything will be linked. Everything's from Shein as I mentioned except the shoes. These are New Balance. These are probably my favorite sneakers ever. Our little Pilates princess outfit check. And really excited to try this for the first time. I think I might die, but we'll see. I'm blending up my smoothie and I'm using my pink Nutri Bullet. Link below if I can find it. I used this complete protein and vitamin women's i believe protein shake i'm just trying to finish this um this is not the best macro wise but we have it so i'm trying to just get rid of it i tend to use it more on days when i work out because i burn more calories and then i just use this l cardentine when i blend this okay she's blended i'm gonna put her in my blender bottle and it looks disgusting but it tastes really yummy i promise <laughs> Okay, here is what I'm bringing. I have my backpack. It's pink on the inside. Love her. Body spray. I need to get the big version of this. Look how much I've gone through already and it's been like a month. Blender bottle. Phone. Phone case will be linked below. I keep getting questions about where this is from so I will link it. 
All right, let's go. Shine on me, shine on me. Shine on me, shine on me. I've been going out of my head. I've been waiting for someone to get me help. Oh, I'm we are Pilates Princess shopping, obviously. Look at how cute this is. We are at Urban Outfitters. Okay, so the top, very Pilates, but the bottom's not. But these are really different. Very cute. It's a new day and I'm eating my breakfast really quick. Actually, I did not go to my Pilates class three days ago. Yes, it's been three days. While we were walking, I twisted my ankle. I just decided to cancel for my own sake because I don't know I didn't know how bad I hurt my ankle. It hurt pretty bad in the moment, so I didn't want to go to Pilates class and injure it more. So I waited and it's been three days and I feel a lot better. So I booked a Pilates class for today and we're going to be trying it out. Really quickly before I get going, I'm going to show you guys a little Pilates haul just because obviously I didn't have grip socks and this was purely like a splurge. I will show you guys in a minute. But um, yeah, I found, let me just start with the obvious. I found a pink Stanley cup in stores, finally. I believe this is like the rose quartz color, but it is gorgeous. It is the perfect shade of baby pink. It's really hard to explain on the website. It looks like it's ivory or white, but it's actually pink, like light, light pink. And then from Aloe, I went and got some Pilates socks um, just because I don't have any and they said that either way I would have had to buy some um, at their studio so I might as well get some that I really wanted and so I got the aloe socks because these are just very grippy and they're very very thick and soft and you can just tell they're good 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 quality I wear these over and over again at least for now until I get some more and I got these little hair ties from Marshalls these were $3.99 I thought these would be really cute just to put my hair up and this was a big splurge but i really wanted this and i was not about to order it online and it just it's one of those things i saw it on instagram and it's just gorgeous but i was like no because just no and then i saw it in person at the lululemon store and i just had to have it and lululemon i didn't know they did all of these like different warranties for your product or for your items they'll even like um, alter your items or what is it called like when they like if the, sh the sleeves were too long they would like hem them up like they do all of that for their items so I don't know I feel like their items are worth the money because I cannot tell you guys I've been wearing this every every single day since I got it so this is a little jacket I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see it this just came out at lululemon and the funny thing is like when I saw it after it just came out I wanted it really bad I didn't order it and I told myself I was not going to get it. And then I saw it in person and it is just perfection. It's so soft. I'm going to wear it today and I'm going to show you guys my outfit so you guys will see it in better, you know, than just like it laying here like this. I want to show you guys my little outfit for my class today. I'm wearing these gray like jogger workout pants from Halara. Um, these are so comfy, so soft and... I'm wearing my little socks so you guys can see them on. This sports bra is actually from a set I got as a gift for Christmas. So I have no idea where my friend got this. But um, my friend gifted me this set for Christmas and I'm just wearing the top. I'm wearing my Lululemon jacket and you guys can see how it looks. It's just very like cinching and pretty. It does have the little pockets. Um, it has a zipper which I'll show you guys. And the back is the most flattering part so let me turn around here's what the back looks like and this is just a gorgeous jacket i'm gonna zip it up so you guys can see it zipped up as well okay here's how it looks zipped up very very flattering on the body go ahead and throw some shoes on because clearly we can't just go barefoot the only thing i put on is a little bit of this dior concealer which works really really good when i don't wear much makeup and I'm gonna put on some lip oil. This is a Dior lip oil. We're all Dior today, I guess. I can't put lip oil on and film at the same time. 
to go make my water so i know that sounds funny because like how do you make water but basically i have like a supplement water i drink while i work out i have l-carnitine which helps convert food into energy I put amino acids which helps you stay hydrated as well so let's go and make my water i'm gonna use my new stanley cup so excited to use my new stanley cup i'd show you my shoes i am um, wearing these because well, you don't wear shoes for Pilates, so I don't need sneakers. So I'm just wearing my Chanel slides. I also cut open the hair ties and put one of these pink fuzzy ones in. Okay, here's what I put. Um, if you guys are interested in these, I will link them below. But first we start with some cold water. And we'll probably put a little more water to fill the whole cup up. But. Yeah, that's just the water bottle I had in the fridge. I don't have any more water bottles in the fridge. So I usually have this or I'll have a coconut water or I will just have normal water, but yeah. And a little pre-workout snack I like to have that powers me up is a piece of bread with almond butter i do half of a toast with almond butter so i basically do half of a toast with almond butter and that's good enough for me you could do a whole piece if you'd like if you want to be extra you can add banana slices on top it makes it even better but i'm gonna hurry so no time for that First Pilates class is done and I genuinely loved it. I've never thought I could feel so relaxed, stretched, but energized at the same time. It was very interesting to say the least. I wish I could have recorded some of my workouts, but it's my first time there and to be honest, I felt a little shy. I was like, I don't really want to just record myself doing Pilates right now. I don't really know these girls. This is a new studio, so I just want to get comfortable first. But I know the machine, it looks very intricate. <laughs> it's actually very simple. I know excuse my double chin if you're looking at that right now but i know that it doesn't look like i work out a lot i just genuinely don't know i don't know why i'm not the kind of person who gets extremely muscular everybody's body type is very different um, when it comes to working out and in order for me to push my limits and get like super ripped up or like look really really built or like toned i have to eat in a calorie deficit and like it's, it's more of a science to it than just like working out. I'm sure you guys understand. And, um, but yeah, I maintain my body, I guess. I work out to maintain my health and like to maintain what I have, not necessarily to like look any certain way. At the beginning, it was definitely about looking a certain way and gaining muscle and stuff. As the years have gone by, it, that's definitely changed. Like I just don't really, focus on that anymore i more so like to feel energized and strong and that's more what it's about so yeah i just thought i would mention that but um yeah i really did like pilates and um i don't know if you guys want me to keep bringing you along hopefully i get more comfortable to record my work um i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope that it was a good vlog to vlog this for you guys give you guys what you want to see and like I know a lot of it is like daily vlogs and things. This person's like really mad because, <laughs> long story, but people out here get really mad on the road. It's like really funny, but the area I'm in is like pretty chill, a calmer. Like I'm not in downtown LA, which a lot of people get confused um, where I'm at. But anyway, I just got home, so I'm gonna stop rambling. Let me get in inside and I'll keep talking to you guys. <laughs> Guys, I made it inside and I decided I really want a matcha latte. I'm about to have a lot of work to do. I have to edit like six videos, including this one, so that makes seven. So lots of work to do. Then I have to hop on a call with my manager um, so that we can finalize some work to be spent behind the screen. I know we're not doing anything that exciting and um, you know for today, but I hope you guys enjoy just this little night in. Every day is not like a shopping day i try to vlog every shopping day that i do have so that's why it seems like i shop a lot because literally anytime i do go shop i vlog it or i'll even go shop just to vlog it and 
the baby says hi again. Anyway, back to the being on topic. I'm making a strawberry matcha. I have my matcha powder. Got this from Target. I ended up stopping at Target um, in between those three days that I wasn't vlogging. But yeah, I got this matcha and you can actually get this also on Amazon. So I will link it because it is really cheap on Amazon. And I got my oat milk. I put a little bit of this brown sugar creamer just because I don't have like vanilla syrup to put in it to sweeten it. I have heavy whipping cream so we can make some strawberry cold foam. And I think I need strawberry jam. Let me get some. Okay, I do a combination of a little bit of strawberry jam with the strawberries just to make it a little bit sweeter. Let's go ahead and make this latte. I will show you guys how I make it. Okay, I'm gonna start off by putting some ice. And we're going to pour some oat milk, but we're not going to fill it up all the way, obviously. Just like that, because we need to leave room, maybe a little more. We need to leave room for the matcha and the sweet cream cold foam. Two teaspoons of the matcha powder, and you're gonna need a bowl. I really need to get some cute little small pink bowls to do this, but right now I just use a regular cereal bowl. Then you want to add a fourth of room temperature water or you can do warm water, it'll make it blend better but I just do room temperature because I don't have time for that. So you can definitely whisk this with one of those things that you just press in, insert a picture here. But I just use my little... I completely forgot that you have to use a tall cup to blend this so it doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> I just made it go everywhere. I'm just gonna pour in my matcha. I put a large strawberry with some of the strawberry puree and we're just going to blend it and you will get something a little like this. Add one third of heavy whipping cream to make this cold foam frother. I'm just gonna froth that together. Before we add the strawberry I'm just gonna add a little splash. I'm going to go ahead and give this a little, a little blend. And here is my strawberry matcha latte, strawberry sweet cream cold foam on top. I am already obsessed with making this drink, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so now I feel all the vibes to go start my work. So let's go ahead and go get to work for the rest of the day. As you guys can see, I really need to clear my desktop and organize it. So I think that's going to be my number one task for right now. And then we will get to transferring some files and then eventually to editing. <laughs> sipping on this matcha. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope that you guys found it fun and different and I'm trying new things. So let me know if you guys want to see more daily vlogs down below. Give this video a thumbs up. You know how it works. Leave the emojis if you found them throughout the video. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Bye.